Qualcomm Snapdragon chips have ruled Android phones for years. They power top devices with speed and smarts. Now, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 arrives as the newest king. This processor promises huge jumps in power, and you might be able to buy a phone with it as soon as this year. Let's break down what makes it special. Snapdragon leads the pack in Android processors. Brands like Samsung and OnePlus pick it for flagships. It handles games, apps, and tasks with ease. No other chip matches its speed. Battery life, well, that's another story. Let's see what this new version has in store for you next, Android flagship device. First off, let's get into the name change. Qualcomm's names for chips often puzzle fans. The old 800 series included the 845 and 865, then came the 888 in 2021. After that, they switched to 8 Gen 1 in 2022, then Gen 2 and Gen 3. In 2024, it became just Snapdragon 8 Elite, no Gen number. Now for 2025, it's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. This blends old and new styles. Qualcomm's marketing chief says it's simpler and shows their top spot. It aims to make the lineup clear for buyers. But does it? Many think it's still a mess. The name might trip you up at first glance. I for one think all the name changing does not thing, but confuse end users and they just need to stop at this point. The CPU in this chip hits 4.6 gigahertz at peak. That's 6% higher than last year's model. Qualcomm says it delivers 20% more power with 16% less drain. It was tested on Geekbench 6. Scores beat the old Elite chip by a wide margin. It points to better gaming performance, faster video editing, picture rendering, smoother multitasking, and better battery life for you. I know, you want scores, are you ready? So, the 8 Elite Generation 5 scored just under 4,000 points for the single core score and just over 12,000 for the multi-core score. Holy shit, if consumers can reach anything near these scores on their future Android flagship, while consuming 16% less power, it will be an absolute hit among Android fans. I am always down for more power and more battery life. However, I am concerned with heat. As seen with this year's Samsung flagship device, the S25 Ultra. Very powerful chip, but the damn thing would get hot. Samsung finally cooled down the device by pushing an updated version of One UI 8. I just hope this next flagship processor does not come hot out of the box. Cameras get a boost with this processor as well. It supports the APV codec. Videos keep top quality but use less space. That's handy for storing hours of ultra high definition footage. Google's Pixel 10 uses that same new codec with its Tensor G5. A PV might rival Apple's Pro resolution on iPhones. The ISP jumps to 20-bit from 18-bit. This gives four times the dynamic range. Shadows and highlights pop in photos. Pro cameras on phones like the Galaxy S26 Ultra could shine with this new ISP. Brands will find cool ways to use it. Think better night shots and edits. Now, for connectivity, the new processor utilizes the all-new X85 modem. It is a step up from last generation X80 modem. Downloads and upload speeds get a bump up a bit. Battery saves more power during use with this new generation. Qualcomm promises steady performance gains on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well. Artificial intelligence gets more attention, even if it's not your main focus. The NPU runs 37% faster. New Precision Points handles tiny language models quicker. These small models fit in using less memory. Your phone will process these models on device now. No more sending prompts to the cloud and waiting for a response. Now, the responses should be faster on device. Voice commands or photo tweaks will see an immediate improvement big time. As for how soon you can get your hands on one, as soon as possible, it looks as if the OnePlus 15 will arrive to United States consumers the first. The OnePlus 15 is expected to sport the all new Snapdragon 8 Generation 5 and that device is set to be announced next month with a release date expected in November. After that, your next option will be 
Samsung flagships the Galaxy S26 series that will be announced in January of 2026 with an expected launch date of late January to early February 2026. Now, a lot is being made of the new Samsung Exynos 2600. Samsung will definitely start using their own processors exclusively in the future, but that is still a couple years away. It looks like Samsung will do a split launch with this S26 series. Samsung still has a contract with Qualcomm to launch at least one flagship model with a Snapdragon processor. Here is what I am guessing happens with flagship Samsung phones in 2026. It appears that Samsung is going to roll out a split release. So the S26 Pro and the S26 Edge will sport the Samsung Exynos 2600 and the S26 Ultra will sport the new Snapdragon 8 Elite Generation 5. Subscribe for more info 